My name is Joanne Anderson. I'm one of the lung cancer nurse specialists and myself and my colleague Lorna Morgan will discuss the lung cancer service at South Tyneside and Sunderland NHS Foundation Trust. Today I'm going to talk about the treatment of lung cancer. Your case will have been discussed at a multidisciplinary team meeting or MDT. This is a team of doctors and nurses with expertise in lung cancer. When deciding which treatment is most appropriate for you, the MDT will take into account several factors. What type of lung cancer you have, small cell or non-small cell lung cancer, the size of the cancer, where the cancer is, and if it has spread to other areas. They will also consider your fitness and general health, along with any other illnesses you may have before recommending a treatment. Treatment for lung cancer may involve a single treatment or a combination of treatments. Surgery is offered mainly for the treatment of early non-small cell lung cancer where the cancer has not spread. Surgery may involve the removal of part or all of the lung. It is performed by a cardiothoracic surgeon at the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle and will involve a stay in the hospital. Surgery can be used on its own or in a combination with treatments such as chemotherapy and radiotherapy for non-small cell lung cancer. Radiotherapy. This is the use of high energy x-rays targeted at the tumour to destroy cancer cells. It can be used in the treatment of both non-small cell and small cell lung cancers. You will be referred to an oncologist who will supervise your treatment and the radiotherapy will be given as a day case at the Freeman Hospital. Radiotherapy for lung cancer can be used on its own or in combination with other treatments such as chemotherapy for the treatment of small cell lung cancer or in combination with surgery or chemotherapy in the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. Chemotherapy. This is the use of anti-cancer drugs to kill the cancer cells and slow the growth of the lung cancer. This is usually given by intravenous infusion or a drip into a vein in your arm. It can be used in the treatment of both non-small cell and small cell lung cancers. You will be referred to an oncologist who will supervise your treatment. Chemotherapy is given as a day case at both South Tyneside and Sunderland hospitals as well as at the Washington Primary Care Centre. Chemotherapy for lung cancer can be used on its own or in combination with other treatments such as radiotherapy for the treatment of small cell lung cancer or in combination with surgery, radiotherapy or immunotherapy in the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. Immunotherapy these drugs work with your body's immune system to kill the cancer cells and to slow the growth of the lung cancer. These treatments are used to treat some types of non-small cell lung cancer. Some of the cancer cells taken at the time of your biopsy will be tested to check for a specific difference that, if present, may mean that some immunotherapy drugs may work for you. Immunotherapy is given by intravenous infusion or drip into a vein in your arm. You will be referred to an oncologist who will supervise your treatment. It is given as a day case and can be given at both Sunderland and South Tyneside Hospital as well as the Washington Primary Care Centre. Immunotherapy for non-small cell lung cancer can be used on its own or in combination with chemotherapy. Targeted therapies. These are drug treatments that work by blocking the chemical processes in the cells that make them divide. These treatments are used to treat some people with a particular type of non-small cell lung cancer. Some of the cancer cells taken at the time of your biopsy will be checked for specific differences or mutations. Targeted therapies are only effective against those types of non-small cell lung cancer that have these mutations. You will be referred to an oncologist who will supervise your treatment. Targeted therapies are tablets that you can take at home. Clinical trials. This is a way of finding out if new treatments for lung cancer are better than the current best practice and may relate to any of the treatments I have mentioned today. Getting onto a clinical trial is based on you meeting a strict set of criteria. While receiving treatment, you will be under the care of a research team and your treatment will be supervised by an oncologist. 
While some clinical trials can be offered locally at Sunderland and South Tyneside hospitals, some will involve travelling to the Sir Bobby Robson unit at the Freeman Hospital. If you would like more information on clinical trials, you can speak to your oncologist or lung cancer specialist nurse. Supportive care or palliative care. For some people with lung cancer, they may not be suitable for active treatment due to their general health or other illnesses. The aim of this type of treatment is to provide relief from symptoms and help you live as actively as possible. This will involve healthcare professionals both in the hospital, including your consultant and clinical nurse specialist, as well as in the community through your GP and district nurse. Depending on your symptoms, it may also be recommended that you are referred to a specialist palliative care team. If you are concerned about anything in this video, then please contact your clinical nurse specialist.